Traditionally, beauty pageants would just be a platform to crown the fairest of them all and offer lucrative prizes to title holders. Over the years, this changed with the increasing need for beauty queens to use their platforms and influence for good and help tackle societal issues. The Miss Namibia organization says in recent months the country has drawn interest internationally owing to its marketing strategy and the ability to combine courses. So what, what we want to do is really to use this platform to make sure that we promote our country, to promote our beauty, because beauty is not only being one color or one uh, race, it's, it's diverse. And as you can see, we have a diversity of beauties here. They are representing Namibia, it's representative of Namibia. When you talk about our culture, we want to use this platform also to to represent Namibia and to tell the people who we are, you know. Sometimes people say, oh, beauty pageants is just like a cattle show. It's not. The Miss Namibia organization will also be incorporating a platform where the title holders would be given master classes in entrepreneurship. And the ones that are here now have done all these beautiful projects supported by their families individually. So we believe that we must come in strong and make sure that this dream does not fade because the girl child in our country deserves to be treated with respect and the authority that it deserves. So that's where the NBC element comes in. They run their business uh, autonomously. Umbiro and I meet once a month, then I get reports, and through that I report into the major board of the NBC. Having won the Miss Universe title, I was incredibly honored and, and, and wanted to show the world how passionate I was about Namibia. And so for 30 years now, I've had the honor and the privilege of representing Namibia and to showcase the fact that the Miss Namibia pageant and pageants in general are not just superficial platforms. They really can um, enhance people's lives. The recent months alone have been eventful for title holder Kasia Shabli, and the first and second runner-up, Leonie van Jarsfeld and Diana Andimba, as well as Miss Teen Namibia, Zoe Karsten. Sharply and Andimba flew Namibia's flag high at the Miss Universe and Miss Earth pageants respectively. Although they did not win the coveted crowns, the platforms served as a springboard. And the most beautiful part that I enjoyed was the delegates to think that I was in one room with 85 different queens for, of international platforms. And knowing that Namibia was seen as a queen that was positive, Namibia was seen as a queen that was influential with the people that truly mattered, that was a great honor for me. And being given that platform for me and really placing in the, in the Miss Earth last year has brought so many investors who are wanting to partake in what I do. Um, I'm currently working on the project, which I'm very excited about. So by the end of the year, I'll be giving out five homes to, um, to, to five families, basically, to try out my prototype. Miss Namibia first runner-up Fanny Ashfeld as well as Zoe Karsten will strut their staff during the Miss World and Miss Teen International pageants this year. My main goal for representing Namibia internationally is to showcase that Namibia is of the same international quality as all the competing countries I'm going to face that side. I have sourced and worked as hard as I possibly can. There's still a lot to do to unify Namibia, to take us international. So everything that I'm taking with me is either locally made, inspired by Namibia, or fabricated within Namibia. So I'm, I'm very excited for the opportunity that it will bring me. And through my journey, I've used my platform as a means to inspire the youth of Namibia to go donate blood, because I am an avid blood donor. And there is a blood shortage in our country. At present, NBC owns 30% in Miss Namibia organization and is in the process to acquire 100% ownership. Blanche Gores, NBC News.